Hey guys, um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, Razer Game Booster, and this is an application that you can install to your computer that will help you with FPS. That will like increase it substantially. It's pretty good. All right, so well, you, you can just go to the internet and just down Razer Game Booster, and it should be RazerZone.com. And I'll put this link in the description down below so you can get it for Windows. And then all you can do is download it, run it, install it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. So, what we can do is since I already have it, I put it on my toolbar. Like, it'll probably come as a little shortcut. I'll just put it on my toolbar so it's much easier to access. What you're going to do is here click it and run, accept. And it comes to like this screen. You won't have any of these like games because these are mine from Steam and Origin. So what you're gonna have is just this add button, and it's gonna be blank, just completely blank. And so what you can do is like you can go to add, and then wherever your games are, like it would probably be in your C drive. And then program files 86 or 64 or whatever you guys have, and then you just go to it. So like, um, if you if you take for example like Sleeping Dogs, you can just go here, and right there you just take this, and then it will just pop up here, and you can rename it or whatever you want to do. Or if it's for Steam, you go into Steam. And hold on, give me a sec, guys. Sorry. I'm just gonna wait for this to load. All right. So what we can do is go to here and take uh, take for example chivalry. Just right click, create desktop shortcut. And okay, it's right there. So all you can do is here just drag it in, and then it would work. So like if I deleted this, just drag it in, and see it appears right there. So it also have a desktop one, so you can just delete that if you want. So yeah, and then so you can do sort by or whatever you want. I do. I usually do name. It's the most easiest to access. All right. So now we can go into this is the earliest version of this date, today's date, May twenty third. So this is the earliest version I have of this, a Razer Game Booster. So what you're gonna do, you have to sign up for it too. So yeah, to use it, I don't know why. Okay, so what you can do is diagnose. You can diagnose it. If you analyze it, it will show you all your system requirements. Not your system requirements, your system properties, sorry. And you can go to tools, you can tweak it. And this will help you with your FPS. So my, um, like I would recommend you do optimize like right here I already have it optimized so it's running at the full performance so you click optimize and it'll do some stuff and it'll make your computer run at top performance uh, when you're not playing and when you are playing so that's the best part and then you can go to defrag so you can defrag your games I'm not gonna do that right now so you can go to this is a really good one you can click tools and drivers and then it'll scan for any drivers that you need updated so that's a, that's a really good plus and you can go to screencast screencast is to uh, record your games so you can it'll show you FPS so this is I set it to, it's probably gonna be defaulted by control alt F like that's how it's supposed to be and then you once you click that in game it'll pop up like right there in your top right and then you can do this is how you control V, control Alt V, it'll start recording. Memory resolution, just keep it there. And then here you can pick one, I just put it high. And then Turtle Beach is what I'm using. And then your format, and then to screenshots. And you can click up high to continue. You can click settings, which, um,. <laughs> This will uh, general, so you can minimize. This is this is what it's gonna do. Minimizing is just gonna do whenever you start a game, 
it's just gonna like minimize it like it'll just cancel it out that's all that does and and then you can pick the amount of seconds it does that by so I just picked four because I don't really want it so that I can do and then restore to normal mode when game is over which is going to uh, so what it does is when you launch a game it uh, starts a game mode so when that when you exit out the game it's gonna return to normal mode so that's what I do you should do that too it's really helpful and then switch to gaming mode when steam game is launched you can do that if you want so it's like whenever you go in steam and you click an application or a game it just starts to it just switches to gaming mode and it runs that on the gaming mode and then you can go to advanced this is the hotkeys and don't don't touch this you don't need to touch that really all right so these are hotkeys to start switch to game mode back to normal exit the game to desktop and this is transparency of this so it's either you have like it's full solid or it's like see-through your transparency so i just kept it at that so run with candidate booster you don't have to enable proxy it's not really applicable and then check for updates if it needs any mine doesn't as as well as i told you before this is the most recent update so yeah